Hello investors, this is a video on HFCL Limited. This video is brought to you by Smart Investor. Subscribe to our channel, like and share our videos. Click on the bell icon for new video notifications. The content of this video is picked up from the investor presentation given by the company in the month November 2021. HFCL is a leading innovation and technology enterprise. It has got innovative product offerings, comprehensive digital network solutions, indigenous defense products. It caters to key sectors like public telecommunication, defense communication and electronics, railway communication, largest market share in optic fiber, OFC supplies in India, one of the largest producers of Wi-Fi UBR systems in India. The company is one of the largest implementations of defense communication equipment. The company has been creating consistent value for investors. It has notched up 11.1% CAGR in the last three years, 23% gross margin, 23.9% EBITDA, three years CAGR, 13.2% EBITDA margin, 12.8% PAT for the last three years, 19.8% on ROCE. The company has an order book worth 5,822 crores as of first half of FI22 company is having a healthy less than 1% debt equity 0.48% Product offering of the company include optic fiber, optical fiber cables, passive connectivity solutions, telecommunication products, defense electronics and many more coming in the pipelines. Comprehensive network solutions include public telecom solutions with more than 1,50,000 km of optic fiber cables laid out. Company has comprehensive solutions for building wireless and optical telecommunications network. Company is also into defense communication solutions, building dedicated standard on optical NPLS based network for Indian Armed Forces with a contract value of 1.11 billion. It has micro radio station, it has MPLS network, fiber monitoring and management system, and optic fiber cable and optic transport network. The company has railway communication systems, including integrating communication network for metros and mainline railways. Some of the marquee projects uh, under implementation include public telecommunication, current order book of 1757 crore. Defense communication current order book is 2,572 crores. And railway communication, the company has a current order book of 514 crores. The company has a long standing relationship with uh, Geo, Airtel, LNT, Jarkand Communication, USNL, CFE, Freedom Fiber, TCIL, and Mauritius Metro. The company has presence across countries. It has got two R&D centers of excellence in Bangalore and Gurgaon. Company has 3,400 employees and employs 1,850 engineers. Company has integrated manufacturing facility, strong R&D, customized offerings, cost-effective solutions, and very agile company with reference to technology. The state of the art facilities for uh, capacity expansion include optic fiber in Hyderabad, Telangana, 8 million, and OFC 3.6 billion, FTTH cable 360 kilo cables. In OC Tamil Nadu, it has got fiber reinforced plastic FIP rods 504,000 per annum. It has got reinforced plastic rods in OSU. And in Chennai, it has got OFC facility for 10.5 million. And FFTH cable, it has got 270,000 cable capacity. The company is now incurring a capacity expansion plan by investing 77 crores under implementation. The total five manufacturing facilities have 22.1 million FKM for OFC. 8 million FKM for optic fiber, 630 CKM for FTTH cables, 504 KM per annum FRP, 660 KM 
per annum ARP and 2700 MT IGFR. The company is the world's largest telecom market at an inflection point with USD 29 billion opportunity for HSCL driven by optic fiber cable and related access market is valued at 6.2 billion. 5G related telecom equipment and services market is 9.8 billion. Other telecom equipment services market is 7.8 billion excluding 5G. Incremental demand for optic fiber cable is expected to go up with Bharat Net Phase 2 government initiative to connect every village in India with broadband network. The value of this will be projected as 4 billion US dollars. Government focus on rural Wi-Fi connectivity also enhances the business value proposition to the tune of 1.2 billion. Projected telecommunication spend over the next five years in India is likely to touch 50 billion US dollars. Demand boost for optical fibers, telecom products, and related solutions. The company is well poised to capture the growing market. New Vista's open to modernizing drive in India's different forces. The value of this is roughly around 68 billion opportunity across defense communications and electronics in India in the next 12 years. Import reduction from 65 to 30% on the back of initiatives like Atmanabhar Bharat, Make in India, Defense Acquisition Procedure. Increased FTI limit 49 to 74%, draft DPEPP 2020, enabling market expansion and exchange of product know how. Stimulus to homegrown manufacturing of electronic fuses, electro optical devices, radar, and communication equipment. The company's accelerated growth strategy include focusing on upcoming opportunities in telecom, defense, and railways, integral part of digital learning. Building new structures to focus on key specialization areas. Expanding manufacturing facilities. Product mix shift to margin. Accurative home design products. Extending market research. The company's uh, focus on R&D is paying off well. Currently, it has got two development centers, which is focused on 5G. The R&D team is strengthened by communication has 73 people, 5G technologies 42 people, defense and other technologies 58, optic fiber cable 11, a total of 184 scientists work in the research and development wing of the company. The company is partnered with renowned players like Arisen, Pro, NXP, Comethility, Big Cat, IP Infusion, Meta Nota. Products under development include 5G RAM products, Wi-Fi 5 and 6 access points, 0.2 multi-point radios, cell site routers, DUCU aggregator routers, passive optic network POM products. Defense communication electronics include software redefined, defined radio, ground surveillance radar, thermal weapon sites. Company is expanding global footprint to capitalize on demands which is coming in multiple inquiries received for new products. PLI making efforts immensely attractive and profitable. Leverage in the core strengths. The company is planning new product design, strong relationship with customers, products at par with international standards and specifications. The way forward for the company is uh, product portfolio expansion, capacity expansion, expansion of international sales and marketing team. In summary, the company has made good investments in R&D and technology, is focused on expansion of capacities, continuous backward integration in OFC and all value chain products. Network solution capabilities, venturing into frontiers of technology, 5G defense equipment, manufacturing under Make in India PLI program, expanding global footprint and the market access. The share price has been quite volatile for this group. And it has a year low of 23 and year high of 101. Promoters hold 41.9%, FIIs and FPIs hold 53%, mutual funds hold 0.6%, and others hold 4%. The mutual funds have increased recently. The stake in the last three quarters it is going up uh, 1.5%. FIs and FPIs have also increased the holdings. Now it is standing around 7%. The one year returns of the script include 
143% hike from the year lows of 23 to the year high of 101. Last six months it has gone up by 23%. Last three months it has fallen by 2.2%. In the last one month, due to market correction, the skip has fallen to 70 levels. The company is a diversified conglomerate into telecom sector and focused on 5G rollout. Promoters holding 36%, FIS are high, year high of 101 and year low of 23 rupees. Currently, it has issued QIP for 600 crores at the rate of 68 rupees. The share is currently trading weak and is around 65 to 70 level. The company has a very high rate of 824 crores which is a cause for concern. This is a highly speculative share with wild price fluctuations. The share is meant only for the brave hearted and those who are able to take risky bets. For swing traders, the share is a good delight. You can buy around 65 to 70 levels and sell around 85 to 90 levels, giving a decent margin on the purchase and sale price. Thanks for watching this video.